Where were your chambers? Selborne Chambers? Selborne Chambers. Yes. Um, I was in Selborne, I went into Selborne Chambers in 1949 and uh, at that time I think probably nearly 90% of the bar were in Selborne Chambers. It was a very old type building. Uh, the rooms were fairly small for the most part. Uh, they had glass uh, some of it with a pattern on it, but if you came up close to the glass, uh, you could uh, see into a barrister's chambers. And in fact, in 1947, uh, some members of the bar had looked into the chambers of a barrister and saw him having intercourse with a client on a couch in his chambers. Uh, this was referred to the bar council as an ethics matter, uh, but he left the bar before the ethics hearing came on. He <laughs> retired from the bar. And afterwards people took care to have uh, opaque glass. Uh, no, the <laughs> opaque glass remained in the Selborne Chambers until we finally left it in 1961. <laughs> but it, it had a, an opaque pattern on it, on clear glass, mm. and if you went up close, of course, you could see through the parts where there was no opaque pattern. <laughs> So I take it Not necessarily have... peeping, if you walk, close, walk past close to a room yeah. you would see into it. But I take it people were a little more careful after that particular incident, were they? <laughs> uh, well I think it was a fairly unique incident at that time. <laughs> yes. uh, in those rooms too, uh, and this sounds very archaic, the main form of heating were fireplaces and we used to have uh, a wood supplied by a caretaker I think it cost you a shilling for a, a day's wood and on cold days you'd light your fire if you were there most of the day but if you were out at court and didn't get back till about four o'clock usually you didn't light the fire because it, it wasn't worthwhile.